According to this lawsuit, a shopper here at the Waterfront Petco used coupons to get a discount on his purchase. But the lawsuit says Petco charged him sales tax on the full amount before the discount. A retailer is required uh, to deduct the value of coupons and discounts from the purchase price before they charge you sales tax. And quite simply, Petco didn't do that. This receipt shows Noah Jordan of Pittsburgh bought $64 worth of dog food at Petco for just under $50, but he paid sales tax on the full $64 worth. Instead of charging the 7% tax uh, in Allegheny County, which some people think are too high anyway, uh, they ended up charging about 9%, um, and that's a violation of the law. Jordan is the lead plaintiff in a class action lawsuit against Petco, alleging misappropriation, unfair trade practices, and unjust enrichment. The suit says the total amount of overcharges could exceed a million dollars. A Petco spokesperson declined to comment, citing the pending lawsuit. Consumer advocate Mary Bach has been involved in similar lawsuits against major retailers, including Walmart. They do it because they can. And Part of the problem in Pennsylvania is sometimes our laws are a little bit difficult to translate or to understand. She says those sales tax errors can add up to big bucks. A lot of people shrug their shoulders if it's only a few pennies and it happens to them. But when it's happening to everybody that shops at the same type store and they all complain about it, it could really be a lot of money. She and other experts say consumers should do some quick math at the cash register to make sure they're not paying too much in sales tax. Reporting from Homestead, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.